Hello friends and welcome back. Today I'm going to share a plan with me and this one is going to be using this super cute kit from Avalon and Ninth. It's called, I think it's called Wonderland. I'm assuming it's Wonderland. Um, and it is Alice in Wonderland themed artwork. Colors are fantastic. This is a perfect theme for me because I am a super huge Alice in Wonderland fan and this is my birthday week. So I'm going to be using the Avalon and Ninth planner and this is for Monday the 7th through Sunday the 13th. This is the glitter from Scribble Prince Co. And it is the pink chunky glitter foil. And it's really, really cute, but I don't end up using very much of it because the artwork in this kit is just too good. I did not want to cover it up with any overlays or anything like that. So I ended up only using that foil over like the glitter and the dividers. And then a couple of little random pieces here and there, but for the most part, I didn't really use very much. Um, I'm going to start by putting down the washi. Sorry, I got distracted by the dog. She's <laughs> she's laying beside me, and I think she's chasing something in her sleep because her legs are just going crazy right now. She's just, like, running after something. I don't know what, but this is my big old German Shepherd, and she's sleeping right next to me. She's a little gassy today, too, so <laughs> I'm, like, kind of wishing that she was out in the other room, but it's okay. It's all good, right? She's an old lady. She's, I think... And we got her as um, a rescue, and she was supposedly a couple years old when we got her. I'm showing you how to, to quick break, really quick. I'm showing you how to roll those off. So this is um, unicorn paper. I'm going to go over this in a second, but this is unicorn paper, and I was just showing you how if it's cut a little bit deep, which happens a lot with unicorn paper, if you just kind of roll it off of the page, it'll just slide right off, and then you don't have to, if you pluck at it and pick it, you'll pick up the backing of the paper too and then you'll get mad because it's going to be really hard to get the backing off. But if you kind of roll it up on the edge and just pull it off, you'll it'll be fine. And it happens a lot. I'll explain a little bit more later. I'll finish with the dog. Anyway, so her name is Tosh. We got her as a rescue when she was a couple years old. Um, but And when we took her to the vet, the vet was like, they told us she was a couple years old. We took her to the vet and the vet was like, I think she's a little older than that. So we've had her now for... 10 years 10 years so i'm thinking that she's probably about 12 maybe 13 and she's showing it for sure <laughs> so she's um very spoiled living her best puppy life but um she's definitely getting older and having a hard time with the stairs and stuff like that but she's still perky as heck happy as can be and um yep i'll carry her big old butt up and down the stairs until she's ready to tell me otherwise so i'm um, gonna put down the boxes aren't these just absolutely fantastic Oh, the artwork on this just oh, makes me so happy. So happy. Amanda did a fantastic job with this kit, as always. All of her kits are fantastic, but this one in particular is one of my favorites. Sorry, the camera sometimes doesn't want to, like, focus when I put things close to it, even though I think it is, because I'm not, like, looking in the camera. I'm actually looking at what I'm doing. So if I show you something and it's out of focus, I apologize. So let me get back to the unicorn paper. So unicorn paper, I had a question in a comment not too long ago, and I did answer it in the comment, but I'll answer it here as well. Uh, what is unicorn paper? So I'm going to go over it really quick since I got all this time. Unicorn paper is a weatherproof premium mat, which is super, like, it's a buttery soft, um, obviously holds color beautifully. You can see it right here in front of you where the, the colors just pop off the page. If you write with gel pen, it's smooth as silk writing with the gel pen. Absolutely love this stuff. It is a little bit more expensive though. So if you are somebody who prints your own, prints and cuts your own kits, like you, you buy artwork from, you know, kits from plate, other people, like I have printable kits in my shop. Um, there's a bunch of places that have them, but uh, if you do your own and you want to try this, I think you can order it off of, remember you're looking for weatherproof premium mat. I think you can get it on Amazon in smaller quantities. This, however, be prepared to pay for this. This is not cheap paper at all. So if you want like just regular premium mat, that's also nice as well, but it's not that same buttery smooth um, consistency as this. But this stuff, you're you're gonna pay you're gonna pay a little bit for it. So when shops offer you uh, unicorn paper, that is probably why those kits may cost a little bit more than others, is because they're using this type of paper. And some shops actually have the option where you can choose just premium mat or unicorn paper. But my shop is only offers unicorn paper now because it's too hard to keep both of those in stock. It's just too expensive for me. I can't, I'm not big enough to have um, multiple paper types in stock. So I just went straight with the unicorn paper because it's just, it's just 
better. It's just better. It's a lot more expensive, but it's better. Anyway, back to the planner. So I'm setting up for the day, for my birthday day. And since I know everything that's happening that day, I know exactly what kind of boxes I want to put down. Usually when I throw down my, because this is like a pre-plan for the week, I'm not really sure um, what's going on during the week. So I kind of put things just kind of wherever, but I know what's happening on Monday and Tuesday. So those are the two days that I will be able to put down boxes specifically for what I know is happening. But the rest of the days um, of the week, it's going to be just kind of like random putting stuff down. There are a few boxes that I know are happening, but for the most part, I'm really not sure what's going on other than my work days. I know what my work days are. And then I thought I wanted to put down that checkbox, um, but it didn't fit right. And then I figured I'd just use some of Amanda's little square boxes that are, yeah, those ones. Those ones right there. That's a good place for me to put down some of the stuff that I had to do, which I can tell you everything that I did on Monday. So Monday is my birthday, and that is the day I'm actually doing this voiceover. This is like almost 11 o'clock at night as Mickey Mouse, actually Minnie Mouse, just interrupted my last try at the plan with me. So I started the voiceover, and then it hit my watch by mistake, and she told me what time it is, which I can tell you what time it is, but it distracted me. It's 10. There, it's 10.51, so there's Minnie Mouse telling you what time it is. On Monday, we went to see the Batman. That was what I wanted to do for my birthday. I wanted to go to the movies and go out to eat, so we went to Olive Garden for lunch. We went to an early movie because I know that this is a really popular movie that just came out on Friday, and I knew the, the theaters are packed um, during, like, prime time so I wanted to go like off off time so we went to Olive Garden for lunch and then we went to see the Batman and I loved it I loved 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 it um I'm a huge fan of that the Batman movies um not all of them but most of them I like and this one did not disappoint this was a much darker more noir type film it kind of reminded me of Seven. If you've ever seen the movie Seven, it had that same feel to it and that same like look to it. So if that's your movie type, you will like this one. Go see it. I'm not going to give you any spoilers, but I can tell you that it was absolutely fantastic. And then at Olive Garden, I had my, I had my fettuccine Alfredo and my gnocchi, my chicken gnocchi soup. And what else happened? Oh, also... We had the upstairs master bathroom. We had the shower, a new shower installed today from, it took them months to get this. So I guess they like actually pre-make all of the pieces before they bring it in. So it's like a whole new shower. It's not a cover. Like some of those places will just bring in a shower cover and put it over the existing. That's not what it is. Like they rip out everything and put all new stuff in and oh my gosh is it beautiful it only takes them one day to do each bathroom they're coming back tomorrow on tuesday to do the basement bathroom because we have another like corner shower down there that needs to be redone so they're going to do that tomorrow it came out beautiful when i came back from my movie that was all done and all cleaned up and ready to go i just can't use it for 24 hours but oh i can't wait to get in there and try it out and it's got two shower heads oh it's just absolutely fantastic i can't wait to use that so that was what happened on monday what else oh i also got to work on the insurance oh what a nightmare so <laughs> did you know that you're supposed to have homeowner's insurance but you're not supposed to use it so so in the last five years we've had two um, weather related water breaks. So the first one was my fault because I didn't know any better. I moved from California to the Northwest, didn't know I was supposed to un unscrew my um, hoses from the house in the winter. I didn't do it. And then in the spring when I was using them, the pipe had burst. And so it flooded my basement and my basement's a finished basement, like a livable with the bedroom, bathroom, all kinds of stuff in the basement. It flooded the basement had to use my insurance because there was no way I could afford to pay for that out of pocket. Then four years later, the pipe under the stairs broke and luckily it was a fast fix. Like my husband heard it, he ran to it, got to it, shut it off right away, but it still managed to flood about half of the family room and the hallway. So I had to make a claim there as well. Well, got notice, uh, a couple weeks back from our insurance, State Farm, by the way, thanks State Farm, that they're canceling our policy. And because we have too many claims, two claims in five years. And I mean, so like I said, you're supposed to have it, but you're not supposed to use it. So just 
keep that in mind, guys. If you have homeowner's insurance and you are have no luck like I do with water, um, don't use your insurance because they will cancel it on you. And if you don't have insurance, then your mortgage company comes after you and bad things start to happen. So right now we are scrambling to get homeowner's insurance, which I just am sharing that with you because it's a frustration that I didn't really even consider until um, I found out the hard way. So sometimes when I find things out the hard way, I like to share it with, with my friends because I don't want you to have to go through the same baloney that I'm going through right now. Anyway, back to the planner. Enough of the sad stuff. Then I worked on subs, so I am ready to ship. I'm, I'm going to have all the subs in the mail by Wednesday, so that's happening. I'm almost done with them. I've actually finished all of the subs themselves, and now I'm just finishing up the foil, and then it'll be package party, and then all everything will go out in the mail by Wednesday evening. What else is going to happening? Olive Garden, went to the movies, Master Shower, so it's my birthday. I got lots of phone calls today. Um, it was it was an, it was a good day. So back to this. Let me show you. I'm gonna put down my highlight. So this is Caffeine Queens. So last week when I did my plan with me using the Molly kit, I'm gonna flip it back right now so I can look at it because it's so beautiful. So the Molly birthday kit was last week because Raina's birthday was on the fifth. And I put that highlight of the day in the sidebar so I can tell you that the highlight of the day for me was Miss Raina and her smash cake. Oh my gosh. I'm going to insert a picture right here. Look at those eyelashes. Look what she just did. Her, her whole entire face is cake. So she started off really good with just sticking her little fingers in there and tasting it. And then once she tasted it, her little eyes lit up and she literally took her entire face and mushed it right into the cake. I do have a video of it. I got a video, but I'm not going to insert the video here. But I, the picture shows you exactly what you need. Her mom, her mama thought she was going to drown in the cake, and she picked her head up out of the cake and stuck her fingers and got got the cake out of her nose. It was hilarious. It was so stinking cute. And then she just went ham. She just went crazy with the cake. So sugar high. Oh my gosh, that child. She was covered in it. And then when she was done playing with her cake, she went straight to the bath. So that went under highlight of the the um week for me for last week and then this week is not done yet but i'm pretty sure it's going to be going to the movies with my hubby and seeing the batman is going to go in highlight of the week but that right there is thank you tanya for pointing me in that direction and if you want those highlighters you get them from caffeine queens that's where you get them so now i'm just putting down all my little icons that one on the top there in the in the little present that is um some little things and then the little cake and then those bottom ones the movie ones come from my shop those are mine and then those are my little tools there and that's where i'm going to write down about the bathroom and then this is from every minute of story that's that little one talking on the phone, so that's for when I talk to my son. And then the grocery cart with, with Kosa in it. Unfortunately, that shop is no longer around. Then you've got Coffee Monsters Co. with the overwhelm because this is sale day. Starts on the 10th, and I always feel overwhelmed on the first day of the sale day. My mollies with the I adulted are for my work days because I have to put that down because they're just stinking adorable, and I love them. What else am I putting down here? I love all these like little, these little guys are just so cute. This, um, on Wednesday, gotta do work laundry. I got the car there for the going grocery shopping and gassing up the car. And there's another set of tools for them coming back to do the basement bathroom. And then this I put down just because I love it. I'm fine. Everything is fine because that is how, how this works. So when I put this planner together, it was when I just got off the phone trying to get insurance for the third time. So everybody, because you put in claims and everybody in the insurance world knows that you put in a claim and then nobody wants to give you insurance. So just that's what I'm fine. Everything is fine for. And now I'm going to put down all of my foil over my glitter headers because I like the little sparklies, but not too much sparklies. Um, also took some of the little, you know, Scribble Prince Co. gives you like little pieces of deco. I put, so this particular kit had the um, bows. So I took the bows and I kind of put them around as well. So, and that's pretty much it. That's, that's pretty much going to wrap up other than just you watching me put down some foil. I don't really have any other news. Just remember that on Thursday, it is the sale starts for the TPC sale. So everything in my shop is going to be 25% off. And then 
there's a lot of fantastic shops in the sale this month so I can tell you that my haul video is probably gonna be another long one I know that they've been kind of long lately and I hope you guys don't mind but I don't like to split them up into the ones and twos even though I asked you if you wanted that in the future I don't know if I'll do it because I feel like the like even me I love binging haul videos and I love them when they're long but I kind of tend to like not watch the second part. I'll watch the first part and then I'll kind of lose interest and then I won't watch the second part. So um, I probably won't, won't split them up even though I asked that question. And see, this is where I put down the bows. Just a little tiny bit of foil here and there. I may pull in some of the foil scripts when we get closer to the week as it goes by if there's any that pertain to anything. But that's pretty much going to be it. So what do you think? super super cute love the way this came out oh, i'm just so excited with this so thanks guys so so much for stopping by i really really appreciate it I hope you guys have a fantastic week and i will see you again on the next one Bye bye